Hello mates, uh, here's a quick little binding tutorial for you. So I've put these over my nipples, uh, which I wouldn't usually do, because I think that's about individual nipple sensitivity. Um, and I don't really have a massive issue when I take my tape off, um, but I'll do taking the tape off in a second. So you can't, you've got to guess the length of your first strip. But for my chest, it's, that's actually probably a bit small, but we'll see. We'll see how we go. Um, for my chest, I use two if I'm doing well, three if I've slightly uh, messed up, but that's fine. So the first layer, first bit, you put down... So the edge of my nipple is like where the edge of this tape is. You lay it down with zero tension, right? A little bit inside of your nipple and then until you've gone past your nipple. Again, this is just how I do it. Um, I've also sent the trans tape tutorial, which kind of gives you similar, but slightly different. Uh, cool, so I've laid it down without any tension. Then I'm gonna push, uh, push my chest to get it to the place I want it. And I'm just pushing directly to the side. And then I'm pulling this round and then I'm gonna lay it flat. It's actually way too short. <laughs> Trial and error, there we go. So now I've got my, and then I'm laying it flat with no tension at the end. So now I've got this piece of paper that I've kept. I use it to measure the next strip. So I know I need it longer. So I'm gonna, need, I've got the edge, gonna cut it a bit longer this time. But obviously remember that each strip will be stretched in place, it, it in parts, so it will be longer than you cut it when you lay it down. So let's try again. I'm gonna go just overlap it, but line it up. So it's got a nice, straightish line there and again zero tension and then press pull and then I get here and I stop pulling zero tension okay that's more the length that I tend to go for but it's not going over my spine but it is like around the back so you can see the difference there So what I used to do was also take this top bit, but sometimes if you take the top bit, then you create again a flatness and then like just a lower boob shape. So I tend to leave it like that and imagine that the like I've got a, like a sense of like an elevated pec. Um, my left boob is bigger, so um, I have to create a longer strip and again I've always kept the last strip so I know my length let's just do this again boop. cut it a touch longer and if your boobs are roughly the same size then you're probably fine but and try and make sure you're cutting with this the the lower part of the scissor because they're typically sharper because they, they've typically done less cutting, that this top end is typically blunter. And you want to just get a nice straight line. Try and be as neat as you can, because it will pay off. Also, extra pro tip is to cut, literally cut corners. Uh, and this means that you are less likely, if you're just rounding the corners off, it's less likely that the corners will catch um, and and peel off. So I've tried a little harder on this one. Again, I don't tend to cut my corners, but it's fine. So I start in the middle, press down, zero tension. Now, because my left boob is a bit bigger, I tend to not just press to the side, I always press up a bit. And then I'm pulling and pulling and pulling to flatten. And then I'm releasing the tension, just laying it down. 
you can see like my technique is to use the back of my index finger like i have that range of motion which is really useful to me but not everybody does so it's just practicing what works for you now the glue in this is heat activated so you want to like give it a nice nice rub down to make sure it's there so you get like you've got the rough shape there just wants this um sorting out ha 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 so every time i'm doing it i'm just la layering it over a tiny little bit so i'm getting the maximum width that i can and like the least wastage as well um whilst making like a uh like a solid piece i guess and i think the difference with with most tapes and trans tape trans tape is that big wide strip because it is specifically designed for chests the tape that a lot of kings use is kinesiology tape so it's sports tape that people use for like sporting injuries and stuff and the and the way it's designed to work is to like basically support your muscles by creating a different route for tension to travel over so it's quite cleverly designed obviously like brass tissue isn't muscular so it doesn't make sense anyway. um okay let's go so again i'm less concerned about this like this is always going to be here to a degree unless i flatten it down and again i've got that boob shape so i'm just gonna layer it over so we've got a flat edge and I might need, uh, and then that's zero tension, pull it, zero tension. And I might need to do another one. But to be honest, most of the time, chest binding is not going to create such a real illusion that people are, are going to not see the tape. People see the tape. And there's an extent to which you have to kind of go, people are suspending their disbelief because they can see the mechanism here. But that's part of the beauty of fucking drag, man. It's it's metamorphosis and everyone's on board with it. So as it says at the end of the trans tape video, like mindset is a big important part. Like be kind with yourself. You know, you can look at your chest, you can assess if it's going to suit your performance needs. Um, but remember, it's not necessarily going to be a realistic illusion. So just as a last little thing, there's a jacket, for example. So a lot of the time, I, I have done full strip, but most of the time when I'm binding with tape instead of a binder, it's so that I can get an open chest illusion it's it's an illusion guys um but so that suits my purposes which is why i don't start it in here or there's no point like starting it wider out um if you have a a bigger chest um you can also then support it up this way and like tape here pull up and create like a shoulder strap um sometimes also instead of pushing up and out which is the kind of like um the way that i learned to do it also when i had a slightly smaller chest I, I pushed up and out and that is how i put a binder on i push up and out but if you've got a bigger chest it might work for you to like be going down and round um or yeah using that shoulder strap situation um i think that's all mostly god i look tired oh. okay um so taking it off it's uh like you want to take it off like a plaster similar and like you want it to peel back like that instead of pulling away like that you want to be peeling back like that um I just like worry the edges, hold it taut, and then you, you may see my nipple here. There we are. And I'm pulling back. 
back, all the way back. Another thing that you can do is if you've got um, edges that aren't quite neat, as neat as you like, or you're worried about them um, peeling up, is you can create another piece, just a short piece, and like tape it whoop, like that on the front or the back. Um, adhesives are removed with oils typically um, and K-tape is, uh, so, so moisturising afterwards is good and just like gently rubbing in a moisturiser is good for your skin and it will help get any adhesive off. It is so much easier to take off when your skin is cold because it's heat activated. So the hotter you get, the sweatier you get, the stickier it is. And I spent a long time in Edinburgh Fringe, like 2019, standing in really hot showers trying to melt the glue off. Nuh uh, not helpful. It is helpful to be cool, have cool, dry skin. So if you've just done like a really energetic, hot and sweaty situation, wait for it to cool before you try and take it off because it's likely to be bit inflamed a bit painful and when it's hot like I can see this this pattern very clearly on my skin um so cool it down moisturize it nicely with like a, a gentle moisturizer clean it before you do that if you want to have a shower always nice um but yeah beyond that it's trial and error um I use rock tape very expensive and it's clearly a white owned company because they don't have a realistic range of skin tones uh they've got obviously this like branded black one they've got bright i think they've got bright pink bright blue they've got a rainbow and they've got like caucasian white skin tone um but there are many other brands available on the internet I just have got into a pattern of getting rock tape because I trust it and because it's in Superdrug and I'm always forgetting it. So I'm like, fuck, I gotta go to Superdrug before the gig starts. Um, yeah, okay, best of luck. You're fantastic. Be kind to yourselves. Be gentle with yourselves. Put your health first. That includes your mental health. And um, enjoy kicking. Love ya. <laughs>